few men would dare waltz into my office and address me like that. You are either overconfident or unintelligent. This is private property. Give me one reason why I should not shoot you on the spot. I am sure my friends at the station would call it self-defense. What is up guys? Welcome back to Sherlock Holmes chapter 1. So in the last episode, uh, we found out the girl, we found the girl Neela and she, uh, I think she didn't want to help us, but she told us something about that guy, right? I think she told he had a, some kind of symbol or something. I don't remember correctly. Mm. Yeah, it's this guy. Alright, let's go to the casebook. Sketch of the abuser. Mercurius place, we found a photograph of the vile act perpetrated on a young woman by a debauched man. Sketch the abuser for our reference, depicting him in a red suit with a tail. Drew a peculiar cross-shaped badge she saw on the debaucher's chest. Oh, okay. A cross-shaped badge. Cool. Badges like this are usually awarded to British high-ranking officials. Not many of those visit Kodona, let alone work on the island. Alright, and what's this? Camp intruder statue. Man found dead inside refuge camp. Distinctive tattoo on his neck. Two lines. The man did not come here by chance. Mm. Alright, so I guess let's do this thing first. We need to... Check about this man in the archives, I think. Um, let's go to the map. Oh, oh, wait. What's this search symbol? The refugee camp. Ah. Uh, wait. Do we ask about um, this thing at the refugee camp? The camp into the, into the statue? I'm not sure. Okay, wait. Maybe we'll pin this and go back to... Yeah, let's pin that, go back to the camp and ask. Uh, now, where is this camp? I think it's over here. Uh, was it through here? Yeah. Alright, so hopefully somebody knows about this. Uh, maybe we ask a police officer or something? Let's see. Who isn't allowed to visit the crime scene these days? Uh, no, he doesn't say anything. Maybe we ask one of these two. Uh, not him. him yep. I owe you a lot, Mr. Holmes. Nope. You still here? Oh, all right. So we can provide evidence. Um, not sketch of the abuse of the camp into the tattoo, right? Okay, let's ask about the this. The intruder has a most peculiar tattoo on his neck: two lines and a point. Do you know anything about it? You really want to know, kid? Why? You want to play a policeman or something? I'm sure you have it in your records, so it won't hurt if I have it in mine. In my records, it's just a tattoo, as it should be in yours. Ah, oh, to hell with you. Suit yourself as to what you're going to do with it. Off the record, though, such tattoos are often connected to a man named Mr. Niccolo Bernadotti. Bernadotti, you say? A respectable businessman in Scaladio. His company imports goods and wines, and smuggles everything that can be smuggled between the colonies and the mainland. His people can be identified by an obscure tattoo. Just like the one over there our friend has. But these are all merely rumours, you see. If Mr. Bernadotti was a criminal, he'd be in prison now. Or hanged, right? Okay, so... I guess we need to find out this guy called Bernadotti. We collected all the evidence. Yeah, that's nice. Mm, Alright, so let's go back to the casebook. Mm, here we go. Inspector Tixbury at the refugee camp says that man, that man tied to a certain Nicola Bernadotte possesses tattoos such as this one. Bernadotte is a businessman from Scaladio who was rumored to run a smuggling chain covered by importing goods and wines between colonies and the mainland. Okay, we got that and we got the sketch of the abuser. Alright, so where do we search this? At the city hall or the chronicle? Uh, we have a mission at the Chronicle too. Mm, that's the police station. Last time we went to the city hall and we couldn't find anything about that case, right? So maybe we'll go to the Chronicle first this time. Uh, mark that. Yep. All right, so guys, uh, I'll see you at the Chronicle. All right, guys, so we are at the Cordona Chronicle. I think the woman here needs to give me another side mission. Let's check what that is first. And then let's try searching for these two, I guess. Alright, so talk to her maybe. 
Good luck, Mr. Holmes. Oh, wait. What? I thought she wanted to give me something. Wait, let me unpin this and see. Come back once you've dealt with Panzer. Oh, no. Okay. Never mind that. Mm, so I guess we'll search for this too. Uh, search for this first, I guess. Pin this. Alright, go to this. Here we go. Sketch of the abuser. Uh, perpetrated young woman. Uh, river peculiar shape. Cross she saw on the departure's badge. We're just like this. Uh, order to British high ranking official. So, should be an official. Uh, not one of those. Visit Cordora, let alone work on the island. Alright, so... Well, districts... What district would be? Would he be in? Uh, John has sketched the abuser for a reference. Depict him a red suit and with a tail. Peculiar cross. Period should be reason. Um, district... I'm not sure what the district is. Maybe it's Scaladia? Let's try. Nope. How about Silverton? Or Old City maybe? Okay, no. So maybe... Yeah, maybe this is not where we search about it. Yep, I don't think this is where we search about him. Okay. All right, let me go to the city hall and see if we can do anything there. All right, I came to the city hall, so hopefully we can find something here. If it's not in the city hall either, then we might have to go to the police station, I think. Mm. Archives. Yep. Uh, where was it? Here. Yep. Got it. So, what do we see? District. Um, Scaladio. Subjects. Businessmen, right? So, wait. Persisted to, yeah, businessmen. So, businesses, period. I guess British. Wait, registry. Okay. Businessman who is remote to run a smuggling chain covered by importing goods and wines. Between colonies and the mainland. Let's go with British and let's see. Yep, got it. Alright. So, Bernadotte Company Limited summary established 1873 by Nicola Bernadotte. Main office is Southeastern Scaladio Bazaar Road near the crossing with Roman Road. Bernadotte Company Limited ships goods between African British colonies and the rest of the United Kingdom, including Cordona. Important products include food, wine, coffee, everyday goods, and more. The founder of the company is Mr. Niccolo Bernadotti. Born in Sicily, yeah, Italy, Mr. Bernadotti moved to London as a 39-year-old businessman. Later the same year, he moved his base of operations to Cordona. In his first to be closer to the colonies, he has business in. Since Mr. Bernadotti's arrival in Cordona in 1873, he has become a notable patron for the arts and, a, and an investor in Cordona's social well-being. Among his latest contributions is the purchasing of new equipment for the police station and aid in the governor in bringing an airship called Led Zeppelin across from Germany. Ooh, Led Zeppelin. So, this was the guy that brought Led Zeppelin? <laughs> okay. So, I guess we need to go to this location, right? Bazaar Road near the crossing with Roman Road. Um, Alright, so that is done. lovely man this Bernadotte is, eh, Sherry? Can't wait until we get to meet him. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so... We found out about Bernadotte, yeah. We need to go to that location. Let's see if we can find out about the abuser too. Mark this. Go over to this and... Uh, okay, so... He's an official. Uh, district... I don't know. Wait. Period should be British. Uh, back on the island by just like this. Uh, not many of those visit. Let alone work on the... Uh, the watch band join us get the sketch the abuser. Uh, do we go with the district? And where would the district be if we go with it? 
maybe scalario or or silverton maybe i don't know let's search no all right uh peculiar cross shared badge british high ranking officials visit code or a little on work registry maybe occupation yep got it nice thomas norton profile thomas norton born 1840 in london graduated from the university of oxford in 1864 in 1869 started working at the home office as a secretary in 1875 took a position as a military commissioner in india honored by the queen herself with the order of the bath in 1877 1st March 1878 was appointed as the British envoy in Cordona with his own cabinet in the city hall. Okay, so this is a well known person. Mm. Yep, so we got info about that. Let me see. So, yeah, we need to go to this place and this we need to talk with somebody, right? Thomas Norton. Alright, so I guess we'll first do this thing. But I wonder whom we talk with. Mm. Honored by Queen herself out of the birth, tradition why? With his own cabinet in the city hall. Oh, maybe we talk to somebody in the city hall then? Uh, wait, is this the city hall? Yeah, right? Okay, so maybe we'll talk to the lady in the front. Huh? Have you found anything helpful? Um, no, nope. she doesn't want to do anything. Cordona, his own. Uh, wait, let me see if there's a room with his name or something. Hmm, we can't go upstairs. Oh, Thomas Norton, him, right? Yep. Shit. Okay, let's try talking to him. If you're here on matters of signing up for military service, come back tomorrow. Our department needs to straighten out some business. Okay, let me observe him. Alright, what have we got? Alright, so facial hair, no time to shave, so he isn't shaved. What else? His eyes? Mm, red eyes, didn't sleep last night, okay. He isn't sleeping, no time to shave. And what's this? Order of the bath, well worn, never removed. Okay, so he looks to be proud of his job, I think. And here, yeah. rumpled clothes, stays at work late. Okay, and what else? Oh, red stain, wine? Question mark. <laughs> All right, let's see. Envaya is a party girl, a red wine stain on the wrist and his unshaven face indicate a lazy attitude towards his duty. The order of the bath looks quiet. Worn. The man is proud of it and never takes it off. Wrinkled clothes and red eyes may mean that he didn't return home last night. Instead of work, this man would rather lose himself in depravity and alcohol. Okay. And is in remorse. The order of the bath looks quite worn and the man is proud of it and never takes it off. The red stain on his wrist indicates that he has recently drank wine. His clothes are wrink wrinkled. His he barely bothers to shave and his red eyes indicate that he may suffer from insomnia or deep anxiety. It looks like if he lives within a nightmare, attempting to rid himself of his terrible memories of past mistakes. Oh shit. Mm. Party goer or is in remorse? I think he's in remorse, right? I don't think he's a party goer, dude. If he was a party goer, like, why, would, why wouldn't he be shaved and stuff? Yep, let's go with Remo Sensi. Alright, got his character portrait. Except. Why are you staring at me like I'm a Madame Tussauds figure? Didn't you hear what I just said? You blame yourself for what you did. Won't be any good unless you confess to me, so I'll try to be polite. What sort of did are we talking about? Are you from the press? I'm here because of Naylor. Who? You don't remember her name. Lad, if you won't tell me where you came, I'll call for someone here to sort you out, if you get my meaning. Alright. We can show the photograph to send you to justice. To listen to what you say. Ah. Uh, wait, do we show the photograph or... 
But let me say to listen to what you say. I came to talk. I have a solid piece of evidence that proves you guilty of the violation of a young girl. What kind of evidence? The silly painting? That's ridiculous. Rumours. Don't listen to a word of it. I wouldn't call it solid if it were just a painting. I have a photograph that would be enough to cause a scandal at the very least, not to mention criminal consequences. A photograph? Oh, so you've plucked up courage to finally come here. I won't pay you a single coin until I see the photograph for myself. I'm not interested in money. I came here to hear your version of what took place. I'm not in the habit of making rash decisions. Not in the habit? Well, it didn't seem like that from the letter you wrote. I've never written a single word to you. That's not my style. I'm more direct. But in exchange for my patience, I demand your full cooperation. I need you to tell me everything. Fine. I suppose now we have a nice long talk. Do you drink, Mr...? Sherlock Holmes. And I do not. Shame. All the best discussions are accompanied by a glass of whiskey. But out of respect for you, I won't drink either. Respect? That's an unusual word in your mouth, Mr... Where are my manners? My name is Thomas Norton, a British envoy in Cordona on a military mission. So, where do we start? Okay. So... I think I need to ask all of these questions, so let me start from here and go down, I guess, who is blackmailing you? You mentioned blackmail. Tell me about it. All right. A couple of days ago, I received an anonymous letter. It said that in the art gallery at Caravansary, there exists a painting that incriminates me. The blackmailer made it clear that if there is a painting, then a photograph exists too. And I should be wary of what it might do to my reputation. What does the blackmailer want from you? Money, of course. What else do such people want? Needless to say, I don't remember anyone taking photographs at the party. Up until the last moment, I hoped he was bluffing. But he wasn't, as you've just proven to me. Show me the letter. I burnt it as soon as I read it. I've left enough evidence. There's no need for any more. Okay, so he burnt the letter. I wish he had the letter though. What happened at the party? So, let's return to the beginning. What happened at the party? I vaguely remember that night. As usual at such parties, you meet people, you talk with them, they invite you to spend some time alone with them. What can I say? I got myself mixed up with the wrong company, and somebody must have mixed some psychoactive substance in my drink. After that, it's all blurry. I completely lost my sanity. I made a terrible mistake which I regret deeply. You don't say? Do refugee girls often appear on the menu at those types of parties? It's rather rare. So you didn't attend the party to engage in an exotic experience involving a vulnerable woman unable to accuse you of assault? I would never have planned such a terrible thing. What happened was just bad circumstance. Okay, so he says bad circumstance. Let's see, you tried to steal the painting? The painting that depicted you in the image of the devil was stolen by a mercenary. Did you have anything to do with it? I might be a rotten person, sir, but hiring criminals for illicit purposes is not in my daily schedule. And buying the painting in an attempt to hide the crime, is that on your daily schedule? What would you do in my situation? I would never put myself in such a situation. You're young. I could never have imagined myself in my current position, yet... Here I am, in front of you. We all make mistakes, Mr. Holmes. And I'm no exception. Hmm. That is true, though. We all make mistakes, but... Come on, man. That type of a mistake? Did you know Mercury? Boniface Mercurio. Does the name mean anything to you? He's an artist, right? The one responsible for the painting that compromises you. I found him dead in his room. Oh, that is bad. Wait, you don't think that I have anything to do with this? You had motive to kill him. Maybe I did, but listen. I know how this looks, but murder? That's on another level. I had thoughts that this Mercutio... Mercurio. Well, him, yes. I thought he could have been the blackmailer. But I was too afraid to make any hasty decisions. There were plenty of ways to fail by making a move, so I chose to wait. To see what he would do next. You have to believe me. I don't believe people. I believe evidence. Then look at the evidence. Mr. Holmes, I've built my entire career on hard work and uncompromising dedication to the Crown. I made a mistake, but I'm not a villain from some cheap adventure fiction. 
By putting me behind bars, you will benefit precisely no one. Rotting in prison is the least you deserve, but I have a better idea. You will make amends and help the ones you hurt. Okay. So, we can ask him to help the refugees or help Nela. Uh, wait, Nela is one of the refugees though, right? So, if we ask him to help the refugees, like he'll be helping Nela too. Mm. Yeah, let me ask him to help the refugees. Use your connections to help patriate the refugees. Find them decent homes. Give them jobs. There must be a meaning to your position and my decision. Yes. All right. I can do that. So, will you give me the photograph now? That's not all. Okay. Oh, we can ask her to him to help Nela too. That's nice. Too. All right. Nela deserves the very utmost of what you can do. Help the girl. I can't risk the press paying extra attention to her. I will do anything except that. I need to think this all through. Don't do anything foolish in the meantime. What makes you think you can decide what's best for these people? Such is the arrogance of British imperialism. I take your point. I'm sorry about my dog barking, guys. Like, I don't know. Dude, it's happened for like 10 times now. Like, it's not something I can fix either. So, yeah. Sorry, guys. All right, so... Uh, we told him to help these people and Nela. Um, character portrait, envoy, testimony, alright. So, I guess we need to go to this location to find Bernadotte. Before we do that, let's go to the mine palace. I think we can connect some stuff. The photo will ruin envoy's carrier and the envoy's officer, alright. Maybe we connect these two. Yep. The envoy wants to hide the proof. The envoy's interest in the photograph is pragmatic if he obtains it nothing will threaten his reputation okay uh, maybe this too yep system sufferers all refugees are victims of the system this is the situation they are in must and can be mended all right and we got something oh we can end it right here dude the envoy wants to secure his reputation the british envoy violated Nela the refugee during the party for the photograph of the crime to be released, it would ruin his career, or perhaps I could use that to leverage to help the refugee camp. Uh, merciless justice and smaller evil for greater good. I mean, we can do smaller evil for greater good, but before that, I think that finishes this case. So, before that, I think we need to go to this thing and talk to this guy. Mm, drug to his. This thing, right? Oh no, not that. This, I guess. Bernadotte. Alright, yeah. So, then what is this? Envoy testimony. He was at the party, but was drugged, but he barely remembers the event. Received a letter from an anonymous person who blackmailed the envoy extorted money in exchange for the photograph. Also claims that he did not hire the thief, nor is he responsible for Mercurius' death, but he tried to buy the painting because he was afraid of losing his social position. He claims himself guilty, but proposes... A deal. If I bring him the photograph, he will help the refugees. Oh, shit. Wait, let me talk to him and see what he says. Have you thought it all through? Or we can give him the photograph or we can leave. Not yet. Alright, so before we do that, dude, like, I don't want to end up like the case before, like the gilded cage. So, I guess we'll go to this location and find Bernadotte first. Mm, Nicola Bernadotte, Southeastern Scaladio, Bazaar Road, near the crossing with Roman Road. Okay, Bazaar Road and Roman Road, Southeastern Scaladio. So, North, Southeast, Southeastern, um, West Bazaar Road now. Okay, Bazaar Road near the crossing with Roman Road. It's here. So, we mark that. So, okay, I think we need to go over there. Alright, so guys, I'll see you over there then. Okay, guys, so I'm here near the crossing, crossing of Bazaar Road and Roman Road. So, where would the office be? It seems they're not expecting Okay, guests. so I think I found I'm the office. I'm for an invitation, John. Um, wait, what did John say? So, what's the infiltration plan, Sherry? I'd go in through the rooftop if we had a harpoon gun. Okay, let's just go straight through the door, I guess, right? Oh, we can't. Wait. What? 
uh, yeah the front door to the benedict company limited is closed we should find another way in oh okay so that is what john was talking to me about cool uh, let's go around back i guess maybe through here yep i guess we go through here these workers don't look like your average called donor folk they're refugees mm -hmm. from the camp so many goods here let's find something illegal <laughs> all right so do we have to find some stuff so whom do we talk to now that's our way in sherry oh right there okay you go talk to that beef i'll sneak up from behind and take him out <laughs> Okay, so let's try talking to him. Hey, yo, this is private property. You lost something. Uh, here for city hall business. Want to see Mr. Bernadotti? I'm a private investigator. Um, let me say that I want to see Mr. Bernadotti. I'm here to discuss business with Mr. Bernadotti. I tried the front door, but... Mr. Bernadotti isn't seeing anyone. You have three seconds to walk away or you'll never walk again. Capito. It's in Mr. Bernadotti's best interest to one. Uh, hit him? No, I don't want to hit him. I'll say one of your people is dead, maybe. Listen, the man Bernadotti sent up Cho. Oh, uh, dude, I don't want to hit him. I'll just leave, right? Well, this has been miserable. Sherlock, think. We know what the fellows from the gang look like. You can easily blend in. Yep, that's it, right? So, good thing I didn't hit him. Alright, so, let's go to the casebook. This thing, campaign road is tattoo. Alright, so we need to find a clothing trader. Mm, pin this. That's the nearest clothing trader now. Uh, is it over here? Yep. Alright, so we'll mark that. Okay. So, guys, uh, I'll see you at the clothing trader there. Don't pass by. Welcome. Welcome. Okay, so we are here. Uh, let me see. Let's pick something that suits you. Alright, so... Wait, I need to toggle the evidence. So guys, this says the man found dead inside the refugee camp has a distinctive tattoo on his neck. Two lines, one over another, right? So, I wonder if we only need this tattoo. Like, without having to... Uh, let me see. Here we go. What's this? Card face, deluxe glamour, black eye makeup, Bernadotti gang tattoo. Yep. So we'll buy that. Yep, there we go. Alright, so. Do we need anything else? That is the problem. Not the problem, the question. Uh, what's this? Tears talk ahead? Nope. Ball hat, top hat, woman's dress, office casual, that sort. A good choice. I guess a we good choice indeed. Don't need don't anything. Don't pass else. by. Welcome, welcome. Hmm. Cause this thing only says about this tattoo. Tattoo. It doesn't say about any of the clothes. All right, so guys, I've got the tattoo. Uh, I'll go back to this Bernadotte's place and see if we can go in right now, or else I'll come back to the clothing. All right, so we are here. Um. I'm not sure that he would let me in like this dude. I only have the tattoo. It doesn't say me what clothes to use though. Let me talk to him and see. Wait, what does John say? Come on, Sherry. It's time to act. Um, yeah, let me talk to him. Hey, stop. Who are you? Haven't seen you before. Didn't see you either, mate. I'm John. Just shipped in from London. Cheap bastards had me sharing a bunk with two others. Oh, that sounds like Bernadotte. Why are you here? A problem at the refugee camp. I need to report to Mr. Bernadotti. The sooner the better. I knew it was only a matter of time until those savages stirred up trouble. Go on, get inside. Okay, so we only need the tattoo. Shit. Okay. So John's challenge one eternal affairs. A full immersion into the criminal underworld. <laughs> okay, so Casebook. Mm, Bernadotti Limited NY testimony. Yeah, yep. We need to pin this and we need to speak with Bernadotte, right? So where is this Mr. Bernadotte? Is... Was he the one that was standing there? Maybe he was? That was one hell of a risk. But a lot of fun. 
Um, the silver and treasure, mate. Loads of pirate gold buried somewhere around, just waiting to be found. It's all right, there's no treasure. But maybe there is. I just need to crack the bloody riddle. Huh? What riddle? Okay. <laughs> Wait, let me talk to you. Help me, please. I'm not in the mood to talk to money bags. Okay. So what do we do here? Mm. Let's talk to him, maybe? May I ask for your assistance? I'm not in the mood to talk to money bags. You obviously haven't thought this all through. Or are you just annoying these people on purpose? <laughs> okay, so... What the hell do we do here now? We need to get into his office, right? So where... How do we get into... Sherry, look! Oh, here we this go. This seems familiar. What is it? Is this? Oh, it's the painting. Shit. Okay. Let's see what's hidden there. <laughs> Alright, so... Wait, what else can we find? Oh, there we go. Vogel's stolen painting. Isn't it curious how it developed into a much more interesting case? <laughs> okay. So we found the painting. Mm, what's this? Some statues of some kind? Maybe stolen goods? A Dogon statue from West Africa. Mm hmm A century old at least. Ooh. Okay. Uh what else? Masks. Traditional for the Chokwe people of Central Africa. So I think that's smuggling goods from Africa. Mm. What else can we see? Wait, what? Here we go. VH Grindley Flow Blue Tableware. This is what lies behind the facade of Bernadotti Company Limited. Mm -mm. Okay. Mm, so we found the smuggling goods. This, this marble fella. It's like he was made after my image. You see it? <laughs> we can't examine it. We can examine this statue. An amazing piece of culture. I imagine many collectors and museums would be interested in having it. Mm hmm. All right, so I guess that's it yeah, over here, right? Yep. Cool. Let's Hello, keep going. Tough day, eh? Hmm. Can we talk to him? If the damn idiot hadn't stolen the canary, I'd be bathing in silver down in the mines. Instead of this. <laughs> okay. But does he say the same thing? It's a dull day, eh? Yeah, I guess. All right. Uh, logistics. We can't go in there. Oh, we have something over here. Corona Chronicle. Zeppelin related. Hmm. Okay. Zeppelin related Chronicle. What else? What's through here? Resources. We can't go in resources. What's John doing? This is it. This is where all the magic happens. What is accounting? Oh, okay. Uh, can we examine it or photo? I suppose it's Mr. Bernadotti with our fine governor. Mm, okay. So Bernadotti is a famous person. And what's this? 1875. It's taken a few years back. John, how many people in Cordona have a photograph with the governor, do you think? Hmm. Yeah, I guess Sherlock doesn't have a photo with him. Um, wait, what else? Mm, stolen painting, smuggled artifacts. We can go to the mine palace and... Stolen... No, can't do that. All right. I guess we'll keep searching this place. Excuse me. Mr. Bernadotti is busy right now. Okay, so we can talk to her. Can we examine anything else over here? We can go out through here, I guess. Mm, okay. Yeah, we'll talk to her. A lot of paperwork, bills, legal. Okay. 
and over here. Sir, you're obstructing the light. Could you step back? Sit here and I'm invitation. Oh. Alright. We'll talk to her, I guess. Sir, you're obstructing the light. Could you step back? What the fuck, dude? I don't know who you are, but someone will be punished for letting you in. First, let's talk. Alright. We can talk to him. Let me examine this first. Photograph of little girl relative. Alright. And what else can we find? Just John. Quite a collection. Collection of what? Sherry, don't you think this office suits me? <laughs> um can we find anything else? No, nope, doesn't look like it, okay. We'll talk to him. Whenever you're ready. I'd hate to intrude. Let me observe him first. Okay. What can we find about this guy? Uh, gang tattoo different from the others. Okay, so maybe this is the tattoo that the leaders have. And like, the people under the leaders have the two lines and... Yeah. Uh, his hand. Doesn't shun dirty work. Hardened hands. Oh, okay. And what's this? Damaged skin. Had pellagra. Alright. So that should be like a skin disease. Mm, holstered pistol. Cold blooded. Okay. What else? Nothing unusual about the shoes. Oh, here we go. Wedding ring. Married. Alright. Uh, ruthless climb lord Nicola Benedict is a cruel gang leader who isn't afraid of getting his hands dirty to show off his position of power. A hard worker in his youth, Benedict grew hatred towards the world around him. He continually expects trouble and is always ready to make some. Raised in a poor family, he had to work in the fields from a young age. This led to his suffering from pellagra, the effects of which still show on his skin. He refuses to hide his under fancy clothes that he might always remember where his motives and identity was born. Bernadotte and his men have different tattoos in the same style. The tattoos are most probably a code that represents different ranks within a tightly structured and secretive criminal organization. Alright, so this makes more sense. Let's read the calculating mastermind to harsh gang leader and calculating businessman. He beams confidence and menace. He anticipates danger by keeping his gun near him but still holds it in his holster. Bernadotte descends from the working class. Being raised in a poor family, he had to work in the fields from a young age. Hard work under the sun and bad nutrition led to his suffering from pellagra. He overcame the disease, but its effects will still show on the skin. Despite being financially comfortable now, he still distances himself from the high life, keeping his clothing and appearance quite conservative. Bernadotte and his men have different tattoos in the same style. The tattoos are most probably a code that represents different ranks within a tightly structured and secretive criminal organization. Alright, so we can go into a calculating mastermind or ruthless crime blood, posted pistol, gang tattoo, hardened hands. Mm. I think he's a ruthless crime lord, dude. Then a mastermind. Let's go with crime lord. Can find the portrait. Yep. Except. Bad news. The thug you sent to the refugee camp only succeeded in stabbing himself. His next and final journey will be to the morgue. Hold your horses. Who the hell are you? Sherlock Holmes. And you are Niccolo Bernadotti, a smuggler, kidnapper, and notorious cutthroat, among other things. Few men would dare waltz into my office and address me like that. You are either overconfident or unintelligent. This is private property. Give me one reason why I should not shoot you on this spot. I am sure my friends at the station would call it self-defense. Mm. Okay, let me ask, do you know about a face mercurio? Your man died at the camp. I'm investigating a robbery. Uh, wait, what do we say? Maybe your man died at the camp? As I said, your man was found dead in the refugee camp. He was there to kidnap a woman, but the other refugees intervened to try and save her. The ensuing scuffle resulted in the man's accidental suicide. He sported the same tattoo as your men in this building. In fact, it also bears a resemblance to the one on your neck. Care to explain what business your man had with this woman? 
You have no idea what you are talking about. I can assure you this was no kidnapping. The refugees in the camp are on edge. What happened there is a tragic accident, one I am not responsible for. For what reason was your man there if not to abduct her? Why would I answer? You are yet to justify your presence in the slightest. Okay. Uh, so... Do I say I'm investigating a robbery or do I ask whether he knows Boniface? Let me ask this first, right? Boniface Mercurio. Mr. Bernadotti, do you know the name Boniface Mercurio? I do not. Mercurio was a local artist. Recently, a man broke into his apartment, ransacked the place, and killed him. The thief was looking for something. You are testing my patience, boy. In a moment, the connection will reveal itself. All right, so... Now I'll say I'm investigating a robbery. I was hired, privately, to investigate the recent theft of a painting from an art gallery. My investigation led me to a man from your organization and, thus, to you, Mr. Bernadotti. That is quite a stretch. Why would I need to steal a painting when I could buy any one I wanted? Interestingly enough, I spotted the stolen painting in your storeroom. I buy and sell a lot of things, Mr. Holmes. Unfortunately, if this is true, it is not the first time I have been sold stolen merchandise. I presume you were hired by the owner of the gallery. Tell them to contact me, and we'll sort out the situation. So, this painting is why you broke into my office. So many words, so little action. When you barged into my office, Mr. Holmes, I got the impression you wanted to talk business. Now I see you had come just to talk. Tell me exactly what you want, or get out. It was necessary groundwork for what comes next. I have enough evidence to conclude that the gallery thief, the artist's killer, and the dead man in the camp are all the same person. Your time is almost up, Mr. Holmes. Before you draw your gun, there is one final detail I am yet to mention. The young woman your man was tasked to collect from the refugee camp had been defiled at a perverse masquerade party. That violation was captured in a photograph by Boniface Mercurio and used as a reference for his painting. The photo shows the attacker's face. Finally. That's why you're here, Mr. Holmes. You have the photograph. It is what your man was after when he broke into Mercurio's apartment, and it is what you're after too, isn't it, Mr. Bernadotti? You have the photograph with you. How much do you want for it? I am not naive yes. enough to carry it with me, but I am yet to decide what I shall do with it. I know the man in the photo is a British envoy. What interest do you have in his downfall? I must admit, I am rather impressed by how comprehensively you have pursued this matter. And so, you deserve the honest answer. My business dealings are often arduous in their bureaucracy. A man in his position, willing to look the other way, could ease my work significantly. In return, I will make sure no one looks his way either. A favor for a favor. Also known as blackmail, the modus operandi of any true professional. It was not originally my idea. Mercurio set things in motion, extorting the envoy for the most trivial of ends. Money. In response, the envoy hired my man to retrieve the painting and the photograph, eliminating Mercurio's leverage. I only learned the whole story after the artist was killed in his home. And rather than extricate yourself, instead you took over Mercurio's venture. It fell into my lap. As a businessman, I simply seized the opportunity. Now, how much do you want for the image? Okay, so now we know how he is involved, so I guess I need to ask all of this stuff. Let me ask about the smuggled artifacts first. I could not help but appreciate the collection of smuggled artifacts in your storeroom. You have rather diversified your business. Oh, oh, high and mighty of you, Mr. Holmes. Not all smuggling is immoral. I pay generous rates to developing cultures and spread their culture to eager buyers. And furthermore, I supply many immigrants with a taste of home. A very convenient way of thinking. I have traveled wildly, Mr. Holmes. I've seen people in far-flung lands for whom my services are a lifeline. Without them, they would starve. The tax on cargo is often so absurd that it would be more profitable to simply sink your ship than dock it in the harbor. And trust me, I am speaking from experience. 
I mean, that kind of might be true, dude. Like, when you look at the text here, uh, why did you need the girl? Why did you send your man to remove the woman from the camp? Without a photograph, her testimony was the next best thing. Securing her was in everyone's interest. Victims and witnesses all too often disappear. I thought the girl was cipher with us. I did not anticipate what would happen at the camp. Okay, so say I give you the photo. Why should I give you the photograph? Just name your price. What if my price were not money? You claim to have connections, Mr. Bernadotti. Perhaps you could improve conditions for the refugees. Give them a chance for a better life. Ha! I do have connections, Mr. Holmes, but help the whole camp? You are asking too much. I could, however, make arrangements for one person. The woman who was violated will have her own home outside the camp, solely for her and her child. She will no longer be a refugee, but a princess. That I can guarantee. Is that really possible? It will be neither fast nor easy, but I can do it. She deserves it, don't you agree? And as for her abuser, he will serve me as much as he deserves. So in your plan, everybody will be given their due, especially you, Mr. Bernadotti. Seems like a fair deal, no? I doubt anyone could offer you better. Simply give me the photograph and the world becomes a better place. I give you my word. Okay, so Bernadotti agreed like to like help the refugees and Nela. He only agreed to help Nela. So I guess going with uh, Bernadotti. Wait, is this Bernadotti? I'm not sure. Okay, anyway, going with that uh, guy at the city hall uh, is the best thing to do. Let me go to the map. Uh, casebook, what's this? Envoy testimony. What was the deal? If I bring him the photograph, he will help the refugees. Yeah, that's fine. Bernadotti is so far. Uh, I think we need to uh, do this. Neela is the woman from the photograph. This tall and pain Bernadotti so far. This two, yep. Okay, what's this? Victim of violation. Neela was violated and very nearly kidnapped. First of all, I must make sure that she and her baby are secured. Systems of all refugees are victims of the system. The situation they are in must and can be mended. Um, if we go with system sufferers, Okay, it shows me this merciless justice and small area for uh, greater good. And if I go with victim of violation. Okay, so it doesn't give me anything. Can't I change any of this stuff? No, I can't change. Okay. So I can go with this and give the photo to the guy at the city hall. Uh... Let me see if, if I can do anything else. Bernardi offers me a deal. So I can blackmail the British and when return. Wait, can I talk to him again? I am positive our deal will benefit everyone. Mm. Sherry, don't you think this office suits me? Yeah, he doesn't have to say anything all right there. So, this says, this has the talking symbol. Whom do we talk with? I think it's the guy at the city hall, right? Alright, so I guess for that we need to go into the city hall. So guys, anyway, I think uh, I'll find out to, like what to do in the next part. So that's going to be it for this part of the video. So if you enjoyed, make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my videos because I upload almost daily. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.